Okay, so continuing on with Dynamics 2, our video here of our mix, um, we basically continue on working on the dynamics of our session. So we're adding our compressors and such. And so right here at this point at 54 seconds, we are adding compression on some of the vocals. Now you'll notice that I'm using different plugins different compressors on these vocals. I could just continue on with the same compressor over and over again, but the reason why I'm using different compressors is to help differentiate those voices. Okay, now this this voice right here is actually run through a guitar amp, which is why it already sounds compressed and distorted. But I'm going to compress it a little bit more, get a little bit more control, and give some more character to it. But as we as we go along, you'll see that I, I then work on the background vocals and see there's the Renaissance compressor, and then on the next one, add another Renaissance compressor, and then I add BF76, and then this time I actually use the compressor limiter Dynamic 3. And so what this does is it really helps to give a different character, especially since all the vocals are the same person over and over again and so we really have the challenge of trying to make all those sound a little different than each other so we're going to use different compressors and different EQs to help us accomplish that so if we jump ahead to a little bit after five minutes we start working on some compression on the lead guitar and of course this is already well compressed by the guitar amp, but we're just giving it a little bit more control so that it kind of stands out a little bit more, doesn't get lost in the mix or anything like that. And so, as you can see, we've got our needle popping there a little bit, showing a little bit of control. And you can hear we we work on it in the in the mix and get it all adjusted just right. Okay, and then finally we start working on the acoustic guitar. Now this acoustic guitar is is really bright and kind of nasty sounding, which is how I recorded it for the project because I knew that this was just going to be kind of a, a background highlight to in the in the chorus and such. And so it's not really like one of those major instruments that you want to hear in the front. And so we can be kind of brutal to it because we want it to just kind of stand out in the background. And so you know I'm going to do some 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 mean compression to it here and it's already kind of a compressed sounding signal and then later on you'll see the EQ that I do to it is pretty brutal as well okay so that's uh, that's our Dynamics 2 and we'll move on to Dynamics 3 in just a, a moment here okay so here in Dynamics 3 if we move up to 23 seconds you can see that we're working on more of the vocals and this time We've got a separate lead vocal track for the end of the song as well as the bridge section. So we're putting the compressor on that. And then we also have another background vocal track, which is not kind of the, the chorus in the chorus. It's a, a harmony during verses and such. Okay, and so we're putting a, a different compressor on that. And notice how, you know, we're, we're making sure to use different compressors from each other continuing on what we did before okay if we jump ahead to two minutes see that next we work on the strings okay and this time instead of using a compressor we're using a limiter because on these strings we don't really want to get that kind of compression kind of jumping up and down sort of thing we just want to control the levels of these strings so they're not as dynamic because strings are, are originally you know going to be dynamic going to be loud and soft and so we just want these to be steady especially these low strings you'll notice there's a solo in there that they're just kind of this holding out these notes holding out the bass note of the song and so we want those just to be more controlled so we can um, kind of keep them in the background, not have them jump out, and not have them be lost. Okay, and then finally in this Dynamics 3 video, 
we go and work on the bass intro. Now you'll notice in the session that there's two bass tracks, the regular bass guitar and then the bass intro outro. And that's because the intro, we don't quite want the same bass sound as we have during the majority of the song. Our bass, we want it to be not really as bright and we want it to be not as, as sharp and transient. And so that's what I'm kind of doing here is I'm using the compressor and shortening the attack and such so that we can make the bass not be such a sharp attack and kind of we're compressing the attack but then releasing it pretty quick so that the the tail end of the bass can be larger and not compressed so that we have this really kind of round bass sound that kind of just hums in the background so we want to feel the bass but we don't want to hear it hitting and we can still hear it hitting a little bit as you can hear there but it's not as sharp it's more of a boom boom sort of sort of sound so that's what we do in this video so please give those videos a listen to and hear all the changes in detail without me talking over it and we'll move on to equalization in just a moment <laughs> 